had a big tragedy in Texas, and I, I'd like for us to just take maybe a few seconds and just close your eyes for a moment and still just say a special prayer for all the people there in Texas for a moment. Thank you, Georgia. First, I'd like to acknowledge my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who inspired me to go on this journey. He's my GM, my coach, and my quarterback. And he's been with me every step of the way. And he's been with me many, many, many times. And God is good, isn't he? Amen. And I want to thank all of you for being here tonight and to celebrate. And I'm humble and I'm very glad to have you guys here to celebrate this with me, to be nominated as a new Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate. And as you can see, I don't look like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't even dress like a politician because my neck is a little bit too big for this tie. But I like not being a politician. Politicians are messing this country up. But don't you worry, I'm here to help fix it. You know, I said everybody liked the destination, but nobody want to travel the journey. Because that journey could be hard. But nothing worth doing is very easy. And it may look easy to some people, but it never is. I've been through some difficult dirt journeys in my life. Growing up, I've had some trouble. I had some tough times. But my athletic career was my outlet. So I uh, went through some very hard times through it. But because of my faith and my family and my professional help, they helped me through my mental health struggles. So asking for help changed my life. I built a successful chicken business. I hustled. Man, did I work. I've worked hard, traveled the country, selling chicken, <laughs> sleeping in airports. I went through some ups and downs, like any business owner trying to build his business and provide for his family. It may sound funny, but I wouldn't trade those struggles for anything. They made me a strong man, a better man, and this Senate seat is no different. I knew it wouldn't be easy, and it was about to get harder. But that's the way I like it. I've been practicing, studying, training, working, and fighting this hard, but that's my life. That's how you rise. That's how you win. That's how the kid from Wrightsville planned to give back to the people of Georgia. You've always believed in me and supported me so now it's time for me to return the favor. You know, when God planted the seed in my heart, he planted it in my wife's heart as well. We prayed about it. It was a big decision. But we're in this together. We're united. And now, we're on this journey together. So I couldn't do it without her. So Julie, I want to say I love you. Thank you. I want to thank my mom and thank my children and the rest of my whole wonderful family. I love you all as well. I also want to thank my campaign staff, my volunteers, and all the people that are part of Team Herschel. I know it's been hard. You worked hard, but you're the best. You've proven that. And I also want to thank my primary opponents for their willingness to step into the ring and take the chance to represent this good state of Georgia. I know you want what's best for this state. I appreciate your service. There's always be room on Team Herschel, and I hope you join us. Since I started playing football, people will come up to me and ask for autographs. They want to talk about sports. I always enjoyed it. But for the last couple of months, people ask about different things, different things that are going on in their life because they're hurting, they're scared. 
I see it in their eyes. They can't afford food. They can't pay for gas. They're sick of what's happening in the schools. They don't even feel safe no more. They feel like their dreams and everything they work for is slipping away. The America they've known is slipping away. They share their stories with me. They believe I can help them. Be their voice, fight for them. They're the reason I entered this race. I'm not in it for fame. I got that. <laughs> I don't. I'm not in it for glory. I got that too. And not for power. My power comes from a holy God. I'm in this race for a young lady named Crystal. She's a truck driver, a single mom. She's on the road trying to earn enough money to take care of her daughter. It's getting harder as she's trying to afford food and gas and health insurance. But Crystal, daughter, was in public school that the mom took her out because another little girl got assaulted in the bathroom. She couldn't let nothing like that happen to her little girl. So she took her out and put her in a small private school. She didn't have any other option to do that. And what are we gonna do? And now Crystal shouldn't have to put up with something like that. She shouldn't, she shouldn't have to be able to afford to send her school, her little child to a private school for a good education and to keep her safe. I mean, it's raised also for Lee and Michael. They're farmers who are getting crushed by government regulations, raising prices for gas, fertilizers, and equipment. Parts are making it harder to be a farmer. They're having trouble making ends meet. It hurts their fam families, and it hurts Georgia. And all this breaks my heart as they struggle to survive. I carry these stories with me everywhere I go. I hear different versions of it from different people. But the basic message is the same. Their American dream is becoming a nightmare. And this nightmare started when the radical left came up with a bunch of lies to divide us. Like men could get pregnant, babies are born racist, riders are peaceful protesters. We don't need the police. Putin calls this inflation. The border is secured. Windmills make airplanes fly. Tanks can run on solar. Drilling in oil in America calls global warming, but drilling oil from dictators don't. Black voters don't have IDs, and everyone could afford a $60,000 electric car. These lies have made us unsafe, woke, and broke. You know the truth, but if you speak out, they'll cancel you out. <laughs> they'll force you out of your job. They'll cancel you. They might even send a government agency after you. But this is how they get their way. This is how they keep their power. And this is how they're ruining this great country. These people call themselves progressives. But this isn't progress, this is self-destruction. They control our cities, defund our police. What a dumb idea that was. Let violent criminals loose and surprise when they kill again. Or worse, they ignore all the drugs that are coming into this, killing our kids, friends, families, and neighbors. They control the federal government, dress Joe Biden up as a woke outfit, you know that. <laughs> And they walk around the White House as they push these policies that hurt in America, showing weakness to our enemies. They pour millions of dollars in Raphael Warnock campaign so they can continue their destruction. In return, he's put a rubber stamp on Joe Biden policies. You've seen it. And he voted lockstep with New York Senator Chuck Schumer. I got news for him. <laughs> Georgia, not New York. I know, I know because I was Georgia born, Georgia bred, and when I die, I'll be Georgia dead. I know, I know where Georgia stands. 
and I stand with you. I stand to fight for Georgia. I stand to fight like I never fought before. I will fight for your kids, fight for this country. I won't back down. Unlike my opponent, Senator Warnock, he's run these sick ads, you've seen them. And one of them, he says, he understands how the problems everyday American face. He should, because he and his friends in Washington caused them. <laughs> in another ad, he says he's not a magician. No one asked him to do magic tricks. We don't expect him to be, we, all we expect him to do is be a good senator. And he's not good at that either, is he? He can, says he can't fix Washington in a year. Well, he's not even trying. Instead of working, he rein in, instead of working on reining in the government spending, he's released press releases. He's right along with it. When Joe Biden waged war against American energy, he drives and, and drives gas prices to an over $5 a gallon. Why not goes right along? He voted four times against the Keystone Pipeline and voted to raise taxes on fuel when Joe Biden sliced open the southern borders and let criminals, drugs, and terrorists in. Why not did nothing to stop it? Instead, he voted against securing the border, against deporting illegal immigrants whose convicted crimes. He voted, his voting has destroyed this economy and torn this community apart. Yeah, I'm sure he's a nice guy, and it's okay to like him but you don't have to put up with his politics. We're the fork in the rolls, people. We have a clear choice. Reverend Warnock and Joe Biden have dragged us down the path of skyrocketing inflation, violence in our streets, chaos at the border, fentanyl, killing our people, and school poisoning our kids' mind. Weak foreign policy, war in Europe, vaccine and mass mandate crushing government regulations. Empty shelves, and we've seen them disrespecting our constitution, censorship, and the racial division. And if you're okay with that, send Senator Warnock back to Washington. He'll give you more of it. I can guarantee you that. But I don't think, I think we've had enough of it. Don't you? Yes, we. We can't afford to be on that road because the toll and the price is too high. So run with me on a much better road, a road to the America's dream. It's a big, beautiful road that is open to everyone. It doesn't matter where you came from and what color you are. It's a road where everyone has the freedom to speak their mind the freedom to keep all the hard-earned money, freedom to practice and faith, their faith and make your own medical decisions, freedom to protect your family and yourself. It's a road that allows us to produce our own energy instead of asking enemies to produce it for us. It leads to securing our borders, safe communities, school choice, parents' rights, fairness with female, female athletes, smart foreign policies, less red tape for businesses, less government spending, better health and care, and most of all, unity. In America, we don't have to agree on everything, but we should sure hear everyone out. We can accomplish a lot together, but first we have to focus on our common goals instead of our differences. I got to warn you, though, it's going to be a bumpy ride because <laughs> the people in Washington who want to stay in power would come after me with more lies and attacks. They'll come after you too. But I'm prepared to take the hits. The harder they come, the harder I'll fight. And if you, if you live in the state of Georgia, you're my family. And these radicals will have to come after me before they get to you. And I won't let that happen. Thank you. 
We won the conference, but the big game is in November. We have to get ready. I need all of my team. I need all Republicans, including those that voted in, in my primary opponents. I want Democrats, independents, all the good, decent people who want to protect their kids and their communities and to keep that uh, dream alive. Hey, I like to say to my Democrat friends, don't worry that you'll be abandoning your party by supporting me. Your party abandoned you. They, they, they put a bunch of maniacs who drunk for power behind the wheel. They left you T-bone, stranded in the rain by the roadside. But I see you, and I pick you up and take you home. The important thing to remember is this election is not about Republican or Democrats. It's about America saving this country from a group about saving this group, this of America, from a group that don't even like you. They don't even like this country. Compare them to these brave men and women in uniform who died for this country. Well, there's no comparison in my mind. It's time for us to wake up from this nightmare. It's time for us to get up, get back on track. We got work to do, and the way we do it is through our vote. Our right to vote is a gift that was paid for by blood and sweat from our patriots. We can't take this lightly. Georgia, do you realize that the future of this great country is on our shoulders? That's because the road to defeating Biden agenda runs right through Georgia. And in order, and in order to stop Biden, we have to defeat Warnock, plain and simple. Georgia, are you, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready to take that seat back? Are you ready to take this country back? Yeah. And what I'd like you to do is join Team Herschel, make a donation, volunteer to help, and in November, vote Herschel Jr. Walker for your U.S. Senate, all right? And I want you guys, I want you guys to repeat after me real loudly because this is something I always leave for the people to hear this. No weapon, no weapon. formed against me, formed against shall, me. Prosper. shall prosper. No weapon formed against me, shall prosper. No weapon formed against me, shall prosper. And no weapon formed against you, shall prosper. So Georgia, so Georgia, are y'all ready? Boom!